family what's the word we are back make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button um thanks for being here listen i seen this video pop up in my home page i guess because i talk about this person a lot but jaguar that's not who i say i talk about a lot but we talk about the same common person or people but this video popped up Jaguar reveals Tina Knowles put Beyonce out there to Jay-Z. I just seen a defense Diddy part. Oh, wow. Here y'all go. I'm going to give it another chance. I'm going to listen with an open mind, and I'm going to see what I can learn. Let's get it. In a few years out, sell your children off so you can have. Is in love. Remember that, that that's what was just killing the dance floor, and, and and she was dead. In this video, watch how Jay Z quickly turned around when P Diddy greeted Beyonce with a touch on her shoulder. Jay Z came out of nowhere. This was at the Rock Nation brunch back in 2008. And she was dead. In this video, watch how Jay Z quickly turned around when P. Diddy greeted Beyonce with a touch on her shoulder. Jay Z came out of nowhere. This was at the Rock Nation brunch back in 2018. They might have a point. He popped back around. <laughs> 2018. Jay Z definitely wasn't having it. Jaguar Wright is back in the spotlight, stirring up drama like it's nobody's business. And this time she's throwing some major shade at none other than Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles, claiming she pimped out Beyonce to Jay-Z and practically sold her to the industry. Now, you probably know this isn't Jaguar's first Beyonce's mom, mom Tina Knowles, claiming she pimped out Beyonce to Jay-Z. All right, let's look at this picture. It's just something about this picture, y'all, that makes me feel like bro looks better with the mom it just looks more fitting beyonce looks like the child here that's crazy mm. Z and practically sold her to the industry. Now, you probably know this isn't Jaguar's first rodeo when it comes to calling out the Knowles and Carter family. She's previously made some pretty bold allegations, like saying Beyonce's basically a prisoner and that Jay-Z's keeping her under his thumb by supplying her with substances. And now with Jay-Z's longtime friend Diddy facing some serious legal heat, disturbing rumors are starting to swirl about Jay's own shady dealings. And according to Jaguar, Beyonce's mom might have played a role in her ending up in a questionable marriage with Jay-Z adding fuel to the fire when Diddy finally broke his social media silence over Easter after those federal raids on his properties. Tina Knowles was caught liking his post. And even though she quickly unliked it, she still follows Diddy on Instagram. So what's the real deal with Miss Tina? Did she really pimp out Beyonce? How's she going to unlike or like then? Un wow. Maybe some, yeah, maybe somebody hit her up like, hey, don't be liking that. You know what's going on with him? You know she older and probably a little out of touch. To Jay-Z and the industry, time to dig into the details. So let's start with this latest speculation that Tina Knowles is standing behind Diddy amid his ongoing legal troubles. After Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's houses last month, Diddy returned to Instagram over Easter to share a photo of his youngest daughter, Love, and fans noticed... Are you sick of having issues? It is okay. Take this time to like the video, y'all. Among those who liked the photo, this promoted one fan to comment, Beyonce's mom liking his post? Odd considering the allegations. And then another one added, maybe she is thankful that he hasn't name dropped yet. Well, maybe Diddy hasn't started name dropping yet. However, Jaguar Wright for sure has. And this time she's dropping Tina's name and accusing her and Beyonce's dad, Matthew, of selling their daughter to the industry. But let's dig into the backstory first. So a bunch of Beyonce's fans have had this theory kicking around for a while now and thinking that maybe Maybe, just maybe, Beyonce was manipulated by Jay-Z. Why? Well, there's this pretty significant 12-year age gap between them, for starters. Plus, Beyonce was still in her teenage years when she first crossed paths with Jay. In 2008, Beyonce told Seventeen magazine that she met Jay when she was 18 years, and they started dating after about a year. Further, because there's definitely more to consider. So, whether Beyonce was actually... 
reason Beyonce stuck around after all those cheating scandals is because she was manipulated back when she was too young to know better and encouraged by her parents to make it in the industry by any means. And while Jay-Z was out there living it up with a bunch of different women, Beyonce was basically tied down to him. She never really got the chance to spread her wings and figure out how to stand on her own two feet without him by her side, and fans are saying she got Did she marry her handler? Mm stuck in this cycle where she was dependent on him for everything. By the way, remember when Jay-Z went on that whole redemption tour after Lemonade dropped? He flipped the script, painting this picture-perfect narrative about how he and Beyonce were staying together for the sake of their family, trying to break free from all that generational trauma. You can be in love with someone, you can love someone and you're not, and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications, period. And if you you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to for, fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that that cycle um, for black men and women. You know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying, it's not this celebrity. We, we were never. All right. So that's cool and all. Don't forget he's an entertainer slash rapper, freestyler and all that stuff. If you wanted all that shit, why in the hell do you do the things that make you have to fight for that person? Why don't you just keep it all the way 100 and break the curse from the jump? Don't go into something, then get caught, and then talk about let's fight for it so we can break this generational curse come on bro you shouldn't even have made it a fight people believe anything and people will say anything of a celebrity couple we were a couple who just happened to be celebrities <laughs> Like, like real people. Yeah. And then when they asked him what he would have done if the tables were turned, Jay Z said he hoped he would have been as strong as Beyonce. On both sides. I mean, if the if the yeah. shoot had been on the other foot, you know, yeah. if the transgressions had been on her side, mm -hmm. do you think you would be able to be as forgiving of her as she was of you? I hope. Uh, again, because I love her the same way. No matter, no matter what side, I love her the same way. I I, I pray that I will because um, her strength and her, you know, you know, man. Her, you know, you know, man, he's looking all down, digging for words. Strongest woman I know, like her and my mother, they gotta, no matter what side, I love her the same way. I, I, I pray that I will because. Um, What's down there on the ground? The dude you're talking to is up here. What's down there on the ground to the right? I was just wondering if it was something we didn't see. Her strength and her. You know, dude, talk about some. Come on, man, dig it up, Jay. Look how dude did his head. Love her the same way. I I, I pray that I will because um, her strength and her, you know, you know, man, is gonna be strong. No, we don't know. We're asking. Face says. Longest woman I know. Like you know, her and my mother, they battling for number one. one. <laughs> but come on now. Do we honestly think Jay-Z would stay with Beyonce if she publicly admitted to cheating on him with another man? But hold up, because gaslighting might not be the only <clears throat> trick up Jay-Z's sleeve when it comes to keeping Beyonce under his thumb. According to none other than Jaguar Wright, Jay's kept Beyonce hooked on some substances for years, all in the name of keeping her compliant. Jay-Z. Why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, 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 No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce. Jaguar also went on to urge Beyonce's fans to take a page out of Britney Spears' fandom playbook and rally behind a free Beyonce movement because Jay-Z's got Beyonce. Looks like Britney Spears had a uh, upside down cross on. That looks like an upside down cross. Interesting playbook and rally behind a free Beyonce movement because Jay-Z's got Beyonce locked. I did a video yesterday I didn't drop yet. I was talking about Britney Spears and how out there she seems to be now. Go check her out, y'all. 
locked down like she's a prisoner. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. And then another insider, a man who goes by the name Uncle Ron and claims to have been Beyonce's personal bodyguard, went viral on TikTok for spilling some major tea, calling out Jay-Z for being dangerous and power obsessed. Uncle Ron also backed Jaguar's claims and alleged that Jay-Z has been pulling some seriously shady moves to keep Beyonce under his thumb, like turning her into a full-blown addict. Probably nobody knows, but I'll say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time. Allegedly. And you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. Now, when Jaguar Wright. I chose say He said, y'all worship what y'all worship to stay on top. Mm. Allegations. Some fans were quick to brush them off, saying they were just trying to stir up drama for attention. Others, however, couldn't shake the feeling that maybe there was some truth to what they were saying. And then, adding fuel to the fire, a video popped up showing Beyonce and Jay-Z leaving a pre-Grammys bash and fans were quick to notice something off about Beyonce. She looked totally out of it like she was in a daze. Meanwhile, Beyonce and Jay-Z leaving a pre-Grammys bash. You can't even see her face and fans were quick to notice something off about Beyonce. She looked totally out of it like she was in a daze. Meanwhile, oh. Jay-Z seemed paranoid. Oh. I was looking at the picture like, what? Meanwhile, Jay-Z seemed paranoid about the paparazzi snapping photos of her in that state. She had to lean on a car. Chill out. Sorry, Jay-Z. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They in the public. You can take pictures in the public. Jay Z ain't we paying also that can't man. Forget about that infamous video from 2014 when Beyonce and Jay Z hit up a Brooklyn Nets basketball game. And let's just say, what did she throw up, y'all? What's she throwing up? Infamous video from 2014 when Beyonce and. Jay Dude said y'all know it, they worship. Listen, yeah, y'all see it. Something about that left eye. I don't know, it's just, it's something. Jay-Z hit up a Brooklyn Nets basketball game, and let's just say things got a little weird. Social media was buzzing with clips of Beyonce acting not quite herself and looking totally zoned out. According to the Daily Mail, Beyonce was swaying back and forth even when there was no music playing, while Jay-Z seemed kind of lost, <coughs> squinting up at the HD screen. Also, another- He couldn't tell them, chill clip from the Grammys recently started circulating on social media, showing Beyonce turning down Jay-Z's offer of a drink, which again sparked speculation that Jay- -Z He trying to mix the alcohol with the medicine, allegedly. Mm. Z is pushing substances on his wife. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record. What did he just put in his mouth? Showing Beyonce turning down Jay-Z's offer of a drink, which again sparked speculation that Jay-Z is pushing substances on his wife. Welcome back to the Grammys, everybody. You know, when you equal a record, there's no way you don't get to. Fans are now connecting the dots and saying it all adds up, especially considering Beyonce's been acting a little off ever since Jay-Z's cheating scandals were blasted all over the headlines. However, the alleged substance issue is only one piece of the puzzle. Believe it or not, years ago, all the way back in 2007, rumors started flying around that Jay-Z was putting his hands on Beyonce. Most of these reports have been scrubbed from the internet. Forum. The article was titled, Assistant, I Fear Jai's Might Be Beating Beyonce. According to Media Takeout, they received an explosive email from a woman claiming to be Beyonce's assistant who will Beyonce like she's an object and not a person. Now, it's also interesting that the Media Takeout added their Tina and Beyonce's dad, Matthew. All right, so <clears throat> I'll never do another Screen Queens video. They included Jag. Probably half a time, it seems like. Anyway, let's go to this video or go to the end of it real quick and see what we can see. While ignoring their other daughter, Solange, the one with the actual. Tina knows. You used to say when you was young to get money. 
sell it now. Stay, stay on my page, Tina. Get no you is else. Sell your children off so you can have furs and get shit. Everything's allegedly, you guys. It's all alleged. You knew your husband was pimping your daughter, and you let him do it. And then you suppress Solange, and she's the one with the real talent. Get fat old Tina for nose. Stay the f off my page, Tina. An older man controlling a much younger woman. Another person. We're going to end it right there. I'm not doing any more screen queens videos. I feel like they do that AI stuff where you can copy paste and it'll be a voice and all that stuff. So, yeah. And a lot of their stuff's misleading. So no more screen queens. It just grabbed me by the title. Anyway, I tried to give it a chance, y'all. I promise I did. I can't get into any more of her content because so many cuss words. I don't feel like doing all that editing. <laughs> She's kind of hard to listen to. Like the video. I'm out. Peace.